here we are with part two of my PS3 collection. Well, I have this separated into categories once again. Uh, let's see, I've got DreamWorks, which is like a huge stack of games, and Disney, superheroes, and science fiction, and sports. Alright, let's start with the big stack here. We've got Puss in Boots. It says PlayStation Move compatible, so you can use the PlayStation Move controller with this. And it's actually very, very fun to do it that way. But I actually just played this the regular way, and it works just fine either way. Um, it's super duper cool. It's one of the better movie-based games out there, but, you know... Yeah, it doesn't get a lot of credit because of the whole PlayStation Move thing. I know that's exactly why. Alright, here we are with Kung Fu Panda. I used to have this for PlayStation 2, but I upgraded it to the PS3 version just, you know, because graphic-wise it's a little bit better. And, uh, yeah. This one's one of my favorites. Bonus Unlockable Character. Uh, it's actually, if I remember correctly, it is, uh, let's see if the card's still in here. Yeah, there it is. I unlocked him already, so, yeah, it's the, uh, use the code blah 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 to unlock bonus multiplayer character, Kung Fu Warrior Poe, and you can actually play the game with him. So, once you unlock him, it's, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> And he actually has, like, a special move for defeating enemies, and it's actually pretty neat. Kung Fu Panda is one of my favorite animated movies ever. And here we are with Kung Fu Panda 2. This one is not near as good as the first game, because it's mainly, like, a almost a side-scroller. Almost. The movie's great, but this game's kind of, it, it missed the mark. It really did. It's not really, excuse the noise in the background, folks. Um, yeah. Uh, I won't get into that, but anyway. So, yeah, it's mostly a fighter. And I remember they came out with a an actual Kung Fu Panda fighting game for PS4, which turned out okay. I mean, it's just another... Super Smash Brothers clone, basically. Alright, here we are with Madagascar 2 Escape to Africa. Another great movie franchise that I love very much. I have the first game for PS2. And this game I had for PS2 as well. But, of course, upgraded it to PS3 because reasons. Uh, so you get to play everybody, uh, including the Penguins. And, uh, it's really fun. Really fun. This one, I think this one doesn't get a lot of credit. Because this one's definitely a little bit better than the first game. But, yeah, it, it has its ups and downs, like most games. Alright, here we are with Madagascar 3. This one's kind of a little weird. Because <laughs> it's mostly based on, like, the circus. So... I have it for DS. I have the DS version as well, and it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect. What game is perfect, honestly? Here we are with DreamWorks Superstar Cards. Woo! You got all the DreamWorks characters. You got Shrek, Donkey. Got the blue dude from, uh, oh, what's his name? Bob? <laughs> Bob. And, uh, got Toothless back there with Hiccup. And, yeah, it's basically a DreamWorks version of Mario Kart. <laughs> There's all kinds of tracks based on the movies and all that fun stuff. So, it's a fun, it's a fun time to be had. And here we are with Madagascar Karts. This actually came out before the other one, but, you know. Um... Yeah, this one has, I think, exclusively Madagascar characters. Um, there might be... I don't think there's any other characters in this one. 
other than Madagascar characters. It says secret bonus characters and tracks. I don't remember um, what they are at the moment. I need to replay this one again. How to Train Your Dragon. Who doesn't love Toothless? That cute black dragon that is exactly like a black cat. What? Does nobody else see that? Seriously? <laughs> Yeah, he's he's so adorable. Look at look at that. With a snarly face. My camera would focus. Arrgh. Yeah, he's adorable. And Snotlout is actually my favorite human character in the whole franchise because he's just hilarious. And his dragon is well, the fire dragon. The monstrous nightmare. There it is. Here we are with How You Train Your Dragon 2. This one's mostly like a battle game. Uh, it's not as adventure-based as the first one is, so it's okay. It's not perfect. Let's get into... Okay, let's get into the sports stack since it's short. We have Sean White skateboarding. Yes! Yes, I do love Sean White. He's, he's awesome. Uh, he recently, uh, when he was in the Olympics, what, last year? Um, his hair is short now. Um, he cut his signature locks. But I'm sure he had his reasons, you know. We all have our reasons for cutting our hair. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really cool, it's like pro skater, but it's a little bit different. So, it's pretty fun. And here we are with Sean White snowboarding. It's pretty much, um... Almost exactly like the skateboarding game, but you're snowboarding, so it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, these are the only two, like, really sports, sporty games that I have. It's only because I, I like Sean White. I like watching his, you know, performances and all that. <laughs> Call them performances. Alright, let's do the Disney stack here. We have Epic Mickey 2, Power of 2, the sequel to the Epic Mickey I have for Nintendo Wii. And this one is also PlayStation Move compatible. Not required. But I actually haven't tried it with this one, so I'll have to do that. Uh, I think it'll be... It'll probably play a lot like the Wii version, so... You know, that's probably why I haven't tried it yet. Sorry if my can't hold my camera steady guys it's it's been a long day <laughs> all right here we are with DuckTales Remastered this is like a really cool uh, side scroller it's a revamped version of the original game for Nintendo the original Nintendo so yeah DuckTales is one of my favorite 80s cartoons of all time. I remember back in the day, my dad used to record the the DuckTales show for me. Uh, I still have a couple of the tapes. So, yeah, I always loved Scroogey. <laughs> Here we are with Toy Story 3. Now, Toy Story 4 burned me out on Toy Story. I am no longer, I used to be a big Toy Story fan, but, oh, I have to say, this game, though, <laughs> this game, wow, I, I can't praise this one enough, because it's one of those really good ones, This it just kind of fell through the cracks, and it's still fun, though, the movie was good. It was the last really good Toy Story movie. I am not counting Lightyear. I am not counting Lightyear as a Toy Story movie. You know why? Because technically it's a spinoff. Okay? It's not actually part of the series. It's based on one of the characters, but it's not actually part of the series. And Lightyear is one of my favorite movies that has come out this year. So, um, I won't uh, get too much into that one. But, um... Yeah, I love Toy Story 3, the game, more than the movie, honestly. Alright, here we are with Tron Evolution. Yo, it's a shiny, 
shiny case. We got the light light speed racing. I actually have a Tron game for Nintendo Wii available for sale in my shop right now if anybody's looking for something a little different to play. This is also PlayStation Move compatible, so yeah, this one's pretty fun, I have to say. It's one of the better, like, more streamlined type, like, movie-based movie, movie -based games out there. And uh, it's it's pretty fun, actually. It's a little challenging at times. I mean, it's really hard to wall run when you have to jump at the same time kind of thing. But, you know, it's it's good for what it is. Okay, here we are with James Cameron's Avatar, the game. Yes, Avatar, absolutely. Yes, please. <laughs> um, the new movie coming out, oh my goodness. I I don't know if they're going to release a game to go with the new movie. Probably not. Um, I'm not counting on that happening anymore with movies, honestly. Um, sadly, because I think the whole... Uh, games based on movies thing is dying out um or dead i can't really tell anymore but this is one of the good ones so if you like halo or um what else can i compare this to halo or doom maybe doom uh, a little bit of doom in there um yeah, this is this is definitely a good one to pick up if you enjoy like battle games and open world exploration, which it has a lot of that. Here we are with Star Trek. I love the new Star Trek movies. Love these guys so much. And this game, it's very difficult, but it's still a fun game based on an excellent franchise, and it's the only Star Trek game I own. <laughs> um, and I I actually thought this was better than I thought it was going to be. So I'll have to start playing it again. Um, I It's on PS3, so I can't really stream it, but uh, maybe I'll uh, do the old school way of filming it if you guys want to see the gameplay of it. Of course, you can watch somebody else's stream of it, right? I'm, there's other people with better technology than I've got. Okay, this one's a little bit different, and it's pretty violent. <laughs> Aliens vs. Predator. Uh, they came out with an alien... What was it? Anyway, they came out with some Aliens game that was horrifyingly bad <laughs> and uh this pretty much made up for it um i really like this one you can be uh, i think you can choose human or predator or um, xenomorph as playable but yeah you have three playable species predator alien marine and Honestly, I've only played the alien, so I can't tell. Like, got this one. I I can't tell you what the other playabilities are like, but it's it's fun for what it is. Let me tell you, I'm probably gonna start playing this one again since Halloween's coming up. You know, gotta have fun with that. All right, here's my superhero stack. Of course, I've got some Batman in there. <laughs> Love my Batman. Um, I actually have this game and this game for PS4. I got them like in a double double deal thing. I forget what they call it. The Arkham Origins or whatever. Um, not Arkham Origins, but you know what I mean. It's It was uh, two games in one kind of deal. And I got it on sale for like 10 bucks. <laughs> So I might be selling these soon. I'm not sure yet, though. Don't quote me on that. Because um, right now, this is the only one I really, really like. And um, I might stream this one on my channel, since I have it on PS4 that I can stream. Because um, it's one of my favorite 
games basically based on Batman. I've played other Batman games, and this one definitely is the best out of all the ones I've played. Um, however, Arkham City has its own different, uh, different thing going on. And this one's okay. I mean, it's a little more... It's more open world than uh, Arkham Asylum. So, it's uh, a little harder to get used to. The whole open world thing. Uh, you have to follow the map a lot. And um, I think I have... Um, yeah, I have Catwoman playable. And she has a couple of extra levels. It was kind of like a, a Sonic Forces deal, like with Shadow. They had the playable, Shadow is playable, but only in like certain levels, like special levels just for him. It's like that with her in this one. So, yeah, she's unlockable, but she's not, uh, I don't think, I don't remember if you can play her in the main game. Uh, I'll have to check that out. But uh, I haven't played it in a while. Now this one I bought uh, when it was brand new. I had pre-ordered it at my local GameStop back in... Where's the date on here? 2016, right? Uh, wish my camera would focus. There we go. And the cool thing about getting it at GameStop... Was I got that a really cool poster? Hello, Leo. That's the poster my friend made me. <laughs> it's very special. And of course, I got my four figure there. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that poster is so cool. Like, oh my gosh, I think that's the best pre order bonus I've ever gotten. Um, and I've gotten some pretty cool pre order bonuses, honestly. But uh. Yeah, this, this game's quite different from the other Ninja Turtle games I have, but um, I really like it. I really like it. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got this game uh, about, I think this came out about a year or two before the movie did. So... Yeah, and I really wanted this game when it came out for some reason. I I think because I had some of the comics. And I was like, oh my god, Deadpool. And then when I heard the movie was coming out, I was I was all over it. Like, I still own, like, I own both movies on DVD, so. Oh, I love Deadpool. And there's some really funny quotes in this one that, oh, there's this one. Because he has, like, a, a voice in his head. And there's this one funny scene, spoiler alert, uh, where they're in a sewer and the voices in his head are like talking to each other. And um, <laughs> I actually don't want to say it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's hilarious. The stuff that he says, like it's the voices in his head talking to each other. He has this one like really deep, like you know, radio announcer voice. And then the other voice sounds like a wuss, you know. <laughs> it's something else, I gotta tell you. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't, like, do that in the movies, really, with him. Okay, we've got three games left in this one, guys. Okay, we've got Rango. Yes, that Johnny Depp animated movie that just... It sings to me. It does. It totally does. I can't get enough of the movie, and this game... He doesn't do the voice of Rango in the game, unfortunately. But it's still a good game. <laughs> I still play it because it's it's one of those really fun action platformers. This just... Oh, I love platformers. 3D platformers are my thing. Like, I've been playing Spyro so much lately on my Switch. And I also have it for PS4. So, you know, that tells you where I'm at with that. Um... Uh, but this one is just, it's one of those, another one of those games that just kind of fell through the cracks because nobody paid attention to it when it came out. And, um, it's, if you like platformers or movie-based games like I do, 
Uh, this is definitely one to pick up. For sure. Oh yeah, you know I've got this. The Simpsons game. I know this is also available on, uh, let's see, I think it's also on PlayStation 2 and I think original Xbox. Don't quote me on that. Maybe it's Xbox 360. But, um, yeah, this one's great. If you love The Simpsons, like I do, because I've grown up with it, you will enjoy this game thoroughly. There's everything to love about it. Last but not least, Adventures in Tintin, the game. This is a little bit different. It's kind of a side-scroller slash 3D platformer. It's a little bit of both, uh, but it's based on the movie, and it's also PlayStation Move compatible. Not required. And uh, this one's really fun. Like it, It's a fun time to be had, let me tell you. Uh unravel a heroic mystery if they ever made a game based on the show murder she wrote this would probably be it <laughs> it's um i i try to think of it that way because tintin is one of those characters that nobody talks about anymore and when this movie came out in this game everybody was like oh what's that you know nobody knew about it and i did <laughs> i i always know about the older stuff because you know all right, well, that'll do it for this video, guys. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. I will be covering either PS4 or my LEGO game collection. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. And thanks for watching. And leave a comment below and let me know which one of the video, one of the, blah, one of the games in this video is your favorite. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.